All right, so today we are working on our master bathroom, our closet, and our bedroom. We are going to be deep cleaning and really focusing on areas that have been neglected lately, so let's jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. starting out in our master closet and our closet is one of those spaces that is just tucked away we have several empty shelves in there and so whenever we have something that we're not really sure what to do with or we don't have a good organization system set up for it yet a lot of times it will go into their closet and I really do need to come in here and actually get some more organization set up in here just because it is a great space but it really is lacking in that area and so it just kind of invites a lot of clutter and a lot of chaos in here. But for now, I am just coming in here, putting things away back where they go and of course cleaning everything up, just kind of wiping down shelving and I'm also going to be cleaning the rug in here because this rug does not get cleaned all the time just because it is kind of out of the way and set back in the closet and like you've seen, a lot of times it is covered with different things and baskets and laundry things. So. It's just not something that always gets a lot of attention. So it felt really, really good to focus on the space and just get it looking so nice and clean and open and really welcoming. So here is another real life moment. You guys know I love sharing this with you guys, not just to show all of our mess because it's not my favorite thing to do. However, I do think it's important just to know that we are all dealing with real life moments. We have those every single day. You're definitely not the only one. We all have the same type of things going on in our life a lot of times. So I love to show you those moments and just let you know that you are not alone but this box has been sitting in my closet ever since moving in back in like the end of May. And so I don't know how many months that's been, what, like four months, five months? Anyway, it's been sitting in here, not unpacked or anything, so I was able to get rid of a lot of things in there, and I was actually looking for some items that were in there, and I was not able to find them over the last few months, so I'm happy that I finally took the time to unpack that box and just get everything organized and put away from there. Feeling like I found a change 
you've been watching my videos for quite a while, you have seen me slow vacuum so many times. You probably haven't seen me slow vacuum in our new house here in Arizona very much, just because we don't have a whole lot of carpet. Most of our carpet is upstairs, and then of course we do have a few rugs but I tend to kind of overlook some of the rugs because they are a little bit thinner. But this one in our closet is like a shag style rug. And so it really is great about trapping a lot of dirt and dust and hair and everything. So I am going to go ahead and just slow vacuum this. And if you're not familiar with what slow vacuuming is, I have done this for, I don't know, well over a year regularly, but it will make such a big difference. So all you're gonna do is just vacuum your floors as usual, and then you're going to empty your canister. And then I like to go back through and really slow vacuum. So what you're seeing here is actually sped up just a little bit. So I'm actually going even slower than this. It will take me probably five minutes just to vacuum one small room whenever I'm slow vacuuming, but it really gives your vacuum the chance to suck everything up from the fibers. And it really just gets a lot of extra dirt and dust and hair and everything that normally would have just been left in your carpet. So if you are not slow vacuuming, I would urge you to go ahead and and try as soon as you do it once I feel like you're probably going to be hooked just by seeing how much is going to be left in your carpets if you don't but I would suggest doing this a few times a month it's not something you have to do every single time you vacuum but it will make a big difference in how your carpet feels and of course how clean it actually is So I recently ran out of my favorite toilet cleaner, so I'm just using one that I picked up at the store. But I did find a new one that I've never seen before. It's actually like a powder toilet cleaner. I found it on Grove Collaborative, and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure you guys will see me use it in one of my future videos. I think that order is going to be delivered later this week, so I'm really excited to try it out and just see how I like it. But a lot of you guys ask where I get a lot of my cleaning products. Sometimes I'll pick them up from Walmart or Target, but a lot of times I get my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. I have been shopping through them for years and years. A lot of you guys have seen my hauls over the years, but I will have a link down below. If you have not ever shopped through Grove Collaborative, they do have a deal where you can go ahead and get several free goodies with your first order, and they're always giving away gifts with your orders, so I definitely would suggest checking them out if you have not already, and like I said, I will have that link down in the description box below. With me.
so once I took everything off of our counters just to clean everything off really well, I ended up not putting most of the things back on the counter. I just have realized less is more in this space and it's been so much more peaceful to walk into the bathroom each day and just see not a lot of stuff on the counters. But I feel like our counters get so cluttered so quickly. You guys will have to let me know if it's the same at your house, but it kind of drives me nuts. So I'm doing everything I can right here just to kind of avoid that going forward. As usual on all of my mirrors I am just using my e-cloth so I use the e-cloth general purpose cloth to wipe it down and clean it and I just use that with water and then to dry and polish it I use the glass and polishing cloth from e-cloths and they work so well they are like the best thing that I've ever found that doesn't streak it leaves your mirrors and glass looking so shiny and perfect their cloths last for so long I have had mine for three to four years and they're still going strong I'm actually planning to share a good way to deep clean those in one of my upcoming videos I'm not sure exactly when I'll share that but it's kind of something that I've been wanting to share with you guys so stay tuned for that but anyway you can find e-cloths on the Grove Collaborative website also their own website and then also they have them on Amazon and I do have my favorite e-cloth saved in my Amazon favorites which is always linked down below for you guys So something that I did a little bit different today is really just focused on cleaning like a smaller area of our home. A lot of times when I deep clean our home, I try to deep clean like our entire house or half of the house all in one day and while it's great to just get it all done and knock it out in a single day it really kind of forces me to rush through projects and rush through areas and it also is very very overwhelming to me and so this has been incredible just to really kind of focus on a small area like our closet bathroom and bedroom and I just feel like I was able to be much more thorough doing it this way lived in Utah we used to take baths all the time but ever since moving to Arizona and we have the pool and the hot tub in our backyard we end up not taking baths very much I think we've maybe taken one bath since moving into this house and so we don't have a lot of like built up stuff on the sides of the bath it's really just a lot of surface dirt like we have a lot of hair and dust and everything but because we don't use our bathtub a lot it is just kind of forgotten and so to clean it I'm just using the Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray if you don't have this you can also use one part dish soap and one part vinegar that also works 
really, really well. And then I'm also using this OXO scrubber. I really like this one because it has a telescoping handle and it just works really well. But if you don't have this tool, you can also just use a simple broom. I have one that I got from Dollar Tree and it works really great. I actually just misplaced it. So that's why I ended up using my OXO scrubber, but that works perfectly as well. Now to work on our very neglected shower. Once I get everything pulled out of here, I'm actually going to show you guys some more up close shots. No judgment, please. Sometimes life just gets away from us and that is exactly what happened here. But I hope that just seeing how bad our shower has actually gotten helps you feel a little bit better if you have some neglected areas in your home and just know that there's never a mess too big to come back from. This, as you could see, it was terrible. And once I'm done, it looks brand new. It's incredible. So here I'm just showing you, we actually have a leaky shower head. So right now we have a towel kind of wrapped around it so that when we take a shower, the water doesn't spray everywhere. But Kyle had actually just picked up a shower head. So he's going to be installing that probably in the next day or so. But I just wanted to share that because that's why we have a random pink towel kind of strapped around our shower head.
I really hate letting things get this bad. A lot of times I try to do better on my maintenance cleaning and that way I don't have to sit here and like scrub for a long time or just see that something has gotten this dirty in our home. But like I said, sometimes things just happen. So the silver lining of this is that it is very satisfying for me to see how clean it's getting and just see what a difference that is. But you'll have to let me know in the comments if you found the shower cleaning to be really satisfying or not. Driving around all night Probably call you back and say I'm fine Then you ask for a second time Why are words so hard to find? I've been thinking a bit too much Feeling something but I don't know what I hate how when it comes to us Keep it close, but out in touch So I had just washed our bedding the day before this and so I really didn't need to pull everything off and deep clean that but mostly I'm just going through our bedroom, making our bed, tidying our bedroom, putting a lot of things away that were just sitting around in here and also I'm focusing on cleaning the floors because those are something that I have not mopped in here in a little bit and as you can tell they really really needed some TLC. So I have been getting some questions about the nails that I use and these are the ones that I get. I will have them linked down below but they are just from Amazon and I love them because going to the salon is very expensive. It also takes a lot of time and these ones are so quick and easy to put on and take off. 
They are also less than $5 and they last about one to two weeks usually. And if one of them pops off, I just save the glue and I can pop it back on. So it really doesn't take a whole lot of time or effort, but I have been using them for the past several weeks and I really, really like them. So if you have been wanting to do your nails, but you don't have the money or the time to go get them done at the salon, I would definitely suggest checking these ones out. So I would love to know how many of you guys can fold a fitted sheet. I could not for like most of my life. I probably learned how to do it because I just sat there and watched YouTube videos on it and just finally figured it out, but I only learned a few years ago. So definitely for a majority of my life, I have not ever known how to fold a fitted sheet and I would just like ball it up or try to not have to do that at all because I could not ever figure it out. But I'd love to see how many of you guys know how to fold a fitted sheet and how many of you guys are still struggling to figure it out. I will say if you haven't learned how to fold a fitted sheet yet, definitely don't feel bad about it. I feel like it's kind of hard to grasp the concept of it and just like how to figure it out. But once you do figure it out, it definitely makes sense. You just have to Give yourself some time and watch several videos and just kind of learn the technique of it. But once you do it, it's so much nicer because then you can actually put things away a little bit nicer and keep them looking better. So I love the floors in our house. I love like the texture on them, but the color is very, very dark, which I'm not the biggest fan of. However, we are not planning on redoing them just because it would cost so much money. And I don't think they're that old. I think they're about five or six years old. But one thing that does drive me nuts about them is they are very like single tone and there's not a lot of dimension in them. And so with that, anytime they are not freshly mopped, it just shows everything and it drives me nuts. So I am not only vacuuming, but I am going to be mopping our floors today and normally I would use my mop and bucket that you guys see me use in most of my videos but today I'm just using my e-cloth spray mop I really love this mop it works really well and the reason I'm doing this is because one I'm only doing this small area so I didn't want to get the mop and bucket out for just one little area and then I also was actually running behind on time and I had to go pick up the kids from school so I just didn't feel like I really had a lot of time to finish mopping the other way so I ended up using my e-cloth mop and it definitely worked out our floors look so much better So that is everything for today's video. I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation and just enjoyed hanging out with a friend. I am actually going to pop up a playlist right here if you would like to watch another video, if you want a little bit more cleaning motivation or decorating inspiration or whatever you're looking for, I definitely have that in this playlist. So be sure to check that out. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. I would love for you to become part of the family. I hope you have an incredible day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.